Thanks for watching my Visual Basic 101 tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you like these lessons, I have a lot more VB6 tutorials available on my website right now at 599cd.com. Click on the link in the description below. I'll be updating my VB tutorials for VB 2012 sometime in early 2013. So depending on when you're watching this, they may already be available. Check the website or my YouTube channel for details. And be sure to subscribe to my channel as I try to release new videos every week. I've got lots of videos available for VB, Microsoft Excel, Access, Word, and lots more are coming. So be sure to subscribe. Let's review what we learned in today's class. We learned about Visual Basic and about Windows programs in general. We created a couple of different programs. We created a simple program to display a message on the screen, and then we built a simple calculator. We learned basic commands such as message box. We learned about different controls, command buttons, text boxes, labels. We learned about decision making, the if-then statement, for example, some real basic error handling, the on-error resume next statement. We learned about compiling your program into a standalone executable so that you can run it anywhere you happen to be in Windows. And we talked briefly about distributing your program to other users. Now it's time for your skills check. Head over to www.599cd.com slash test and take your skills check quiz. If you pass the quiz, you'll be able to print out your certificate of completion. Make sure you attach it to your resume. Employers love to see Visual Basic programming skills on your resume. What's next? Where to go from here? Look for our Microsoft Visual Basic 102 course. Visual Basic 102 is available on our website or from wherever you purchased VB 101. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this class. If you have any questions, you can email them to support at myolp.com. If you have questions pertaining to the course material that we covered today, we're more than happy to try to answer your questions free of charge. If you have more elaborate questions or perhaps need assistance with a program that you're working on, we have paid support available as well. One of our programmers can actually look at your program and try to figure out what you need to do to make it work. But as always, basic support is always free. Feel free to email us your questions, no matter how big or small. This lesson is copyright 2002 by Amicron Computing, all rights reserved. This video may not be reproduced, copied, edited, or otherwise distributed without the express written permission of Amicron Computing.